We're back. Another video for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. First of all, thank you for getting me to 2,500 subs. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I just seen that we hit like 2,500 subs. Um, thank you guys. That means so much to me, especially being such a small channel with no social media. <sighs> we got these back in the collection. These are off-white rubber dunks. If you guys don't remember, I hit on sneakers app for these for retail. So that was cool. I was able to get these for retail and I sold them to the homies out in Wichita, Kansas at the sneaker boutique. It's called uh, Knockout Sneaker Boutique. Um, they're really cool dudes. I was able to go in there and get these back in a size eight and a half because the size nine that I had was actually a little bit like the, the toe box is a little too boxy. And it's weird because SBs, I go up to a nine and a half, regular dunks nine, and then this rubber dunk was just super weird just because of the materials, but it was very boxy. So I was able to get these back from them, which is funny because I sold them my, my size nine pair and now I got the eight and a half. So these are dead stock and I just want to shout them out for, uh, I actually laced these up. They were DS lace. They had the uh, little Chinese tag on the, on the eyelet and I just took it off because I don't wear the tags. This is how I will be wearing them. This is how I like to rock them. And I tried them on and man, they fit good. A little too, a little tight. Like uh, this shoe is weird. If you have a skinny foot, um, the length is there, bro. But as far as like the, the shoe is just so boxy that you're, your foot is just moving around too much and I don't like having a lot of play inside my shoes because then I feel like I'm going to crease them and wear them out a little bit faster. The heel drag will be bad so I wasn't trying to have bad heel drag. So that's why I went with the eight and a half even though it's going to be a little snug. The the mo What I could do is take the insole out maybe but yeah for the most part the eight and a half fits great and I'm glad to have them back in the collection. Um, I am going to be doing obviously the on feet on the Nike Dunk Low Metas Gold. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, this shoe I actually picked it up for under $200. Um, it's one of the dopest sneakers out there right now in the market for under $200. But I want to just show you guys what I picked up because I did pick up a few sneakers. These, um, this uh, was a drop on Nike sneakers. I actually did get a pair of the playoffs. You guys already know this is my double up. Uh, my first pair that I got on sneakers and stuff is actually sitting back here and I'm happy to have a double up because these have the white bottoms and if you guys don't know like once you wear them it's super hard to get the dirt off and the, the grime so like I was just happy to have a double up that's honestly one that I do need a double up of um, I, there are a lot of sneakers that I wish I had double ups on that I used to have but it's just life is just too short bro to be doubling up you want to i want to have more the more sneakers you know just more quality collection um i don't want to have two pairs of one sneaker even though i already do i have two pairs of lightnings two pairs of crimson fours um two pairs of shadow 2.0s i have a lot of doubles right now so i need to get rid of some doubles and if you guys did not know this release not too long ago this is the well, I guess another shoe that I picked up. I'm skipping all over the place. I just got back from Oklahoma City, guys, so bear with me. Um, uh, this is the Concepts Air Max 1. I might do it on feet. Let me know. You guys, Are you guys interested in on feet on these? I might do it on feet, bro. I probably should, huh? Yeah, I probably should do it on feet. Uh, it was weird. As I was looking at this shoe a lot more closer, it just has, like, this uh, crazy material. It's like... Like, the, it has this bandana on the back, which kind of reminds me of the Travis Scott's. But this has nothing to do with the shoe, I don't think. But it reminds me of the Travis Scott's, right? And then, of course, you have the cow fur right here. And that reminds me of the Chunky Donkeys. So, to me, this shoe is just weird. It just, it just It's just super weird, bro. It's, it's like if Nike just had a bunch of leftover materials and they just start slapping it on the, these shoes and see what they can make, you know? So, they, they're not wasting stuff. But I doubt that's why. Who knows, man? It is the Concepts collab. Box is very nice. Presentation is amazing. And here we have the big pickup. This one was from Stadium Goods as well as the Meta's Gold. I want to just kind of show you guys that there are deals out there for you guys. My subscribers, I care about you guys. I don't want you guys throwing away money. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that make sure you guys are looking through every app before you make a purchase. That's what I do. I try to get the best deal possible. Download as many apps. Ask as many questions. If you guys ever need me to answer you guys anything in the comments, I will do it. Because that's the reason why I made this channel, just to help you guys out. Uh, but yeah, so Stadium Goods, I paid under... Like, let's say over $100 under what these are going for on the apps, on any app. They had a spring sale, and I paid a very good price for these, so, and I couldn't pass it up. I knew that there was no way I was going to get a better price, and these are the Nike Dunk Low SB 
um, First Avenues, Familias. Uh, very cool sneaker. If you guys do not know, it's a venue um, that you know has had a lot of legendary artists. Uh, it's it, that's what it's made after. It's had a lot of legendary artists like Prince and a bunch of other icons uh, that have performed in there and showed their greatness, man. And you guys could see where it has like the little brick brick wall on the heel. And I mean, I'm not gonna go over every single detail on this shoe. I just feel like this shoe is very nice. The colorway, everything about this shoe. You got some gold stars at the bottom um, just to represent all the stars that have performed in their venue such a cool shoe man I couldn't pass it up I've seen these for the low on stadium goods so I just felt like I just had to pull the trigger and ah, let's get to the main one the one that you guys are waiting on I know a lot of guys are like bro you spent seven minutes to um, unbox the shoe that we were looking for hey bro look all you gotta do is skip through the video it's not that hard man it's not that hard all right it's not that hard. If you didn't skip through the video to get to this part, then it just means you enjoyed the video, bro. And you just complained because you just realized that um, it took forever to get to this part. But you weren't complaining when you were watching it, were you, buddy? But yeah, no, I, I'm not going to be able to open it because you guys put the label right in the dead center of the box. So I'm going to have to open it from the bottom. But yeah, I had a guy say that, man, it took you five minutes, bro, to get to the shoe. And I'm just like, dude... I wish it would have been six minutes so I could have ruined your life a little bit more. You know? But here is the shoe that you guys clicked on. I just stabbed my box. Which is alright, man. You guys see I stabbed it right there. Be careful when you guys are stabbing through your boxes. I just put a little, little stabbing right there. But got my receipt. Stadium goods. I like. All the invoice, whatever. You got 14 days to return your order. So if you guys are ordering through Stadium Goods, there you have it. But yeah, here they are, guys. Size 9. The mid is gold. I actually paid $164 for these. Um, I believe that's what it was. Or no, 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 no. I think it was a hundred. Yeah, it was 164 bucks, man. Pretty good price if you ask me for this shoe. It's only 50 bucks over retail. Um, so I didn't have to drive to a store to pick it up. I didn't have to pay extra fees, you know what I mean? I, I didn't really have to do much, man. I didn't have to have the stress of getting on the Nike app and going for them. I don't think they released on the Nike app, but you know, there was no way I could have gotten these because these actually released like only in stores, I believe, um, and a lot of like JD Sports, but you guys already know, they those things always get botted up. Um, they released them overseas as well, but this is a very clean colorway. I guess if you're a Cavaliers fan, this would be a perfect sneaker for you. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm gonna throw these on feet for you guys because that was like the whole main purpose of this video Was just to kind of do a quick on feet kind of go over all the sneakers that I have been picking up because I haven't had much content for you guys But I'm gonna cut this uh, stadium goods tag off and I'm going to rock these and throw them on feet for you guys You guys let me know down below in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this video uh, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you don't have to if you don't want to um, hit the like button. Hitting the like button means a lot to me, man. It helps out this little channel a lot. You guys ain't got to donate no money. You guys ain't got to... I don't ask for anything from you guys. On the contrary, we just hit 2,500 subs, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway for you guys. Uh, it'll probably be like a low cash giveaway. Yeah, man, make sure you guys hit the like button, and we'll do a little giveaway for you guys. And at 3,000 subs, of course, it's going to be a sneaker giveaway. This 2,500 subs is going to be a, a cash giveaway. Let me know what you guys think about these. I'm going to throw them on feet for you guys. Enjoy. It's your boy Jay Hernandez, and we're out of here, man. On to the next video. Peace out, man. Take it easy. Saludos. Hasta luego. Bye. I know you mad cause you see me on go. Ain't worried about you when I'm getting this dough. Lost time for a bitch. Gotta stay on my road. Gotta stay on my shit. Can't lose control. And I won't get treated like I'm a joke. Cause I ain't never been a game. But we never meet again. Uh -huh. Tell me you ain't never change. Uh -huh. When I left you, I got right to the back. I was all that back and forth. Shit got wet. Back in the stool, now I'm talking that crap. I don't even get hurt. I'd rather just laugh. Never get close. I was quick to attack. Got a big heart. You will never get that. The way I felt, I can never change that. But if I can, I go back to the past. Time you was pretending you're so good at being fake It's crazy love is blind and I ain't noticed that you hate All you did was slow me down when I was trying to keep my pace Promise you were held it down no matter about the situation Cause I'm single alone with digits Don't get it, look at my intentions They wanna find out what is my intent. I ran out of love, it was time to take If you hating on me, tell them I ain't been Don't give a fuck about your opinion You just don't wanna see me win oh, I'ma always be on pivot I know you mad cause you see me on go Ain't worried about you when I'm getting this dope Close time for a bitch, gotta stay on my road Gotta stay on my shit, can't lose control And I won't get treated like I'm a joke Cause I ain't never been a game But we never meet again Tell me you ain't never changed Whole time you was pretending you're so good at being fake It's crazy, love is blind and I ain't
notice that you hate All you did was slow me down when I was trying to keep my pace Promise you will hold it down no matter about the situation